Oh yeah, getting the new springs, retainers, and the locks in. What a pain in the ass learning how to get these damn locks in. Damn. All right, guys. Uh, flip this guy over. Some valves, some springs, retainers, seats, seals, and my locks are somewhere around here. There we go. Get the old tools out here. Got this off eBay. I think it's like. I don't even know how much it was, 10, 15 bucks. It works great. I've used it a few times, no problems. Oil daily. Okay, sorry about the uh, noise in the background. My compressor's firing up. Going to need a magnet. Can't remember what I used the last time I did this. I would take my magnet and I would stick it on the tool I'm using and it would help me with the lock. When we get to that point, it'll hopefully come back to me what I was using with that, get that lock in there right. All right, so, seals. He's been sitting here for a minute. I should have had a cover on these, so I'm gonna wanna blow the top of the retainers off because they got a little bit of a dust, little dust on them. There we go. All right, if you go to my valve guide installation video, I'll go in more in depth on the reaming process. All right, got it reamed, blew it out with some air, valve guide itself, and cleaned up the area. So there's no debris, I'll get back into it. That way I know I did everything that I could. Uh, it'll be all right, even with that tolerance. It'll, uh, it'll work itself into that guide, smooth itself out. From Ontario, feel desire. No foe, you hold, been thinking why is chop tools and techniques flow through these swamps. And I still ain't said shit like easy. It's still just there. As is, I'm gonna try a different valve and see if it, the tolerance is still that tight. See if we can't marry these up a little. See which ones are happy. Make these guys happy. I think that one was a little bit better. Maybe we'll try another one. See if it gets even better, even after reaming that one. All right, I think we're just gonna stick with this one. Whether it be a little bit better or the same. We got our seals in. We got our seats in, our seals in. Got our valve. Valve guide, springs in. All right. Tool mounted up. I had to put some different, uh, I'm using some Willwood shims as washers on this because the bolts that they gave are so shallow in depth and I just go I'm not sure what it is probably about five pounds of torque or something like that maybe seven so I'm not trying to strip a thread on those because they only get a small bite you might want to change those out to a, a deeper bolt but it works for me I make it work pop the thread yet knock on some wood usually wear my earplugs for this and I should probably pop my earplugs in because that ratchet is loud son Dang it, I almost forgot my freaking seal. I don't want to forget that. Okay, push them on down there. I know I showed you guys my seat tool here. So with the seat tool, I would need the valve out of the way. Spring seat in there. Get our uh, seal on. get my handy dandy tool out that I got for it. See if I can use it while I am have the spring tensioner in place. And nope, I can't use it at that pitch with that. I'll have to have it off, have the tool off to. And again, like I said, this thing can go in finger pressure tight and it locks over the valve guide. So, but on the next one, I'll get them on with the actual seal tool. Okay, so let's get the springs retainers in. Sorry, sir, and I'm sorry to all of these people here. I, I, I didn't mean any harm. I, I just wanted to ask yourself one thing. If you were, if you were me, wouldn't you do the same thing for your 
That one's looking promising. Then are the two sides here. Where the spring is here, I want to try and rotate the spring to keep the clearance on either side of the retainer gap as even as I can so I can get the lock to slide in between the valve stem and the retainer. That's on my heart, the inside don't match my outside thoughts And you want me to lay down and bring back earth But I'm far from that, these listen facts As I fall through the preset packs And download the files from the illest crack Shot out to Mars, all to all Magnet tracks, discover From the verse back door, my freedom sparks Love is free, wheels of parks Give me cotton candy, rare candies Getting comfy crap, medic on these plastic brandies I'm a friend, six stacks, description lane Shop to my main, getting freaky age Away when the head is frayed on my bag of shade, blue stacks pray. That was a lot better than struggling. I mean, I was still struggling by any means. It's always a struggle. Some time it was a while I don't remember how many it was maybe it was two minutes I don't know it was a while I was just thinking about how I've left these finger tight before. I've had one freaking almost smack me in the face. There's a lot of pressure there with those springs. And as I was thinking that, I seen it move. You guys probably saw it move. Tightened it down. I got lucky. Might want to get a lock installer because doing it this way, it takes forever. Last two valves, baby. Yeah. Tedious. lock I got two more locks left for one more valve so that's good none of them disappeared while they waited to be put back in their home because they've been waiting a while alright that's the last Lock in. Per the manual, it says once all the locks are in. Okay, Shahama. I was gonna give you the correct verbiage here. All right, it says tap the valve stem only along its axis so you do not bend the stem. You lightly tap the end of each valve stem two or three times with the wooden handle of a hammer, which is a good thing because I was about to use my own memory and uh, take a extension or whatever and tap it with a. So a wooden handle of a hammer to ensure proper seating of the valve and the valve keepers. Showing a flat handle. So here's my wood handle right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's what you 
Always read your manual, son. Now, it does say here, if you are doing a OEM seal, there is a white spring and a black spring. The black spring is the exhaust spring and the white spring is the intake spring. I, I'm using Ferreas and they're all identical. Yeah, and so there you have it. We got our uh, valves in and the seats, the seals, springs, retainers, the locks. And while I got air up, I think I'm gonna clean the bottom of this bad boy because the machine shop did such a bad job at cleaning this thing. I'm gonna wheel off this carbon on here.